Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Savannah and today we are going to go through my top 10 makeup favorites of 2020. And then of course I'm trying to not include palettes because that's like more than one item technically but I wanted to include the top face palette. I tried in the year 2020 as well. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Just letting you know that. And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, or ring that bell to see more of my goofy face. I upload every Tuesday and Friday, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. And let's just get right on into this. It, <laughs> the face palette is the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. I've been using pretty much every shade in this palette except for that orangey highlighter for deeper skin tones. I really love the bronzers in, or contour shades in this. I'm wearing a mix of all of them technically on my face and I like to use the two lighter highlights for my just setting my eye eyelids and under eyes sometimes if I feel they got a little too deep or I messed up with my bronzer or I'll use it to just kind of carve out under my bronzer as well instead of baking. So that is the one face palette I am mentioning. First off, I'm going to try to do this in an order of how I would apply the makeup. I have the Benefit Professional Hydrate Primer Oh my goodness, I love this. It does the hydrating part I love from moisturizers. I just, I'm usually in need of just a little bit more moisture. So this helps out and it also kind of blurs my pores just a hair. So I really absolutely adore this product. And it's pretty much out. So I will, when I finish my other hydrating primers, I will definitely be going out to repurchase this. All right. Then I have a little bit of a color corrector. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I have used a lot of this. It's just, there's a lot missing from this baby. I can see light coming through. Oh my goodness. But it's all kind of just moved to the edges of the container. I like to use this just, as it says, right under my eye, just a little bit, blend it out. Even on days where I don't wear makeup, I can just put this on and blend it out so seamlessly. I just, I'm obsessed with this. Then a foundation I'm obsessed with that I tried this year is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. And I use the shade 00 Alabaster. That then knobs a little gross, but you can see through that there is some product that has been absolutely used up so products from about here down it you do not need a lot so seriously just one pump of this covers my entire face so I love the hydrating effect I can pair it without a hydrating primer even and it looks great and if I want to just focus on filling out those pores with a hot primer just yeah I can create such a seamless look with this foundation I really adore it I like the shade I do wish it was a little more you know neutral tone or a little bit cooler toned but you take you get what you get and you don't throw a fit sometimes when you're shopping at a drugstore when you're super fair it's hard to find a foundation that'll match you perfectly in drugstore especially if you're on one of the either ends of the skin tone charts Next up is my favorite concealer of 2020, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Oh my goodness, I adore this. I put it on every time I'm doing my makeup, pretty much, without fail. This has replaced my NARS Radiant Natural, oh my gosh, my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm absolutely floored and obsessed with this. Mine is in the shade Fair Rose. It's like six dollars so that is a major price gap and I prefer it so definitely an easy thing for me to switch and replace some high-end products with a drugstore one in my collection I I have dry skin as I've said before so hydrating products 
tend to be the way to go for me. All right. Next up, I guess I've got two blushes. First, I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffused Heat. This is so beautiful. It was such a perfect summery blush and it got me into actually being more comfortable and using blush before I wasn't really using it. I was like, eh, don't need it. But I like how you can just layer this up and it just, it's not overly pigmented. So that is a big hit for me. And then now in the fall and winter months, I've tried a different blush. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush 20 Mauve. If I can open you. It is a little bit powdery, but I really like it when you layer it up. It's just, oh, it's so beautiful. It's a little bit shimmery. It's got that slight sheen in it, but I enjoy it. I'm wearing that. Am I wearing this one today? No, no, I'm not. It looks exactly like this though promise I was trying out random combinations in my drawers and I topped it off with this one it's like you know I just need a little bit more of a punch so itchy nose did I put my nose ring in yes I did all right next up I have two lip products hmm. Maybelline you seem to be on a roll here you're the only brand with more than one item or no no, there's two back up. But there's three Maybelline. So, oh my goodness. I've got the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. It's a hydrating gloss. It's got hyaluronic acid. So, that's really great. Especially dry skin. And it's winter. Your lips tend to dry and get crusty. So, I've been really enjoying this. I'm wearing it right now. And I'll top it off a little for you. It's in the shade Silk. Just... It's a little bit on the thicker side, but it does thin out as your lips absorb the moisture in it. And I like the shade. They have so many shades in this. It's got some pigment in it, but it's not like overly pigmented if you catch that. But anywho, next up I have my Becca Ultimate Love Lipsticks. Um, this one is in the shade Sugar. This shade is so beautiful too. I love the formula of these. So creamy and beautiful. I also love the packaging. It's so bougie and that lid is magnetic. Another shade I love from this, which I couldn't find for the video today, is the shade Petal. It's just, they're beautiful and creamy, pigmented and easy to use. Next up, mascaras. So earlier on in the year, I was obsessed with the Pretty Vulgar Mascara and Faux Real, or Pretty Vulgar Faux Reels Mascara in Black Swan. I'm trying this one out again to see how it compares with my current favorite non-waterproof mascara. So that is the wand. I, I've used it once and I'm like, all right, it's very similar when you apply it to the Wander Beauty one but I'm gonna have to do a more thorough comparison. I love how they coat my lashes really well. This one actually really helped me with getting comfortable putting mascara on my lower lash line. So if you're a little more nervous with that, definitely try a mascara with a smaller, thinner wand. If you're just getting into that, it's a lot easier to use and less messy, but they both are beautiful on my lashes. Very pigmented black. And they last really nicely. And I will definitely be doing a more thorough comparison coming up soon with that. So those are my top 10 2020 makeup items. And then my top face palette of 2020. As always, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. And I hope you're all... Bleh. I hope to see you all in my next video. I love you all. Bye.